Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of 3D geometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if a point P, alpha, beta, gamma, satisfying the equation which says alpha, beta, gamma, and the other matrix it's given to us as 2, 10, 8, 9, 3, 8. And the last row it's given to us as 8, 4, 8. So it's telling us if these two matrices are multiplied, we are getting the result as 0, 0, 0. And we have been told that this point alpha, beta, gamma lies on this line on the plane 2x plus 4y plus 3z equals 5. Then the question is asking us to find the value of 6 alpha plus 9 beta plus 7 gamma equals 2. So we need to figure out the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, they are 11 over 5. Second answer choice 11. The third answer choice minus 1. And the last answer choice it's given to us, which is 5 over 4. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question which is given to us. So let's multiply the matrices first. So if I multiply this first row with first column, I get this as 2 alpha 9 beta 8 gamma equals 0. Next, if I multiply, I get 10 alpha 3 beta and 4 gamma equals 0. And the last one, it gets us 8 alpha, 8 beta, 8 gamma equals 0. Now, once I have this equations with me, if I want to find the values of alpha, beta, and gamma, and I use these equations which are given to us, so if I do equation 1 minus 3, I get that as 2 minus 8, which is minus 6 alpha, 9 minus 1, 8, which is 1 beta, 8 minus 8, which is 0, equals 0. So from here, I get minus 6 alpha equals minus beta, minus minus gets cancelled and beta becomes 6 alpha. So I have this value of beta as 6 alpha. Now, once I have beta as 6 alpha, if I put that in one of the expressions, Let's say if I put that in the equation 3, I can write that equation then as 8 alpha plus 8 into 6, which is 48 alpha plus 8 gamma equals 0. So from here, I get this is 56 alpha, 8 gamma equals 0. That gives me 8 gamma is minus 56 alpha. From there, I get gamma is minus 7 alpha. So I have gamma also with me, which is minus seven alpha. Now let's put that in one of the expressions and find the value of alpha, beta and gamma. So we know that this entire thing, that point is satisfying this entire condition that lies on this plane. So let's put all the values in this plane. So if it satisfies this plane, first of all, I will put those values of x, y, and z as my values of alpha, beta, gamma. So point alpha, beta, gamma, that is basically my point P, which satisfies this equation, then becomes 2 alpha, 4 beta, 3 gamma equals 5. So once I have that, if I put all of them in the terms of alpha, 2 alpha plus 4 beta, 4 beta is nothing but 4 into 6 alpha, 3 gamma, gamma we know it's minus 7 alpha equals 5. That further gives me 2 alpha, 24 alpha and this becomes 21 alpha equals 5. 
So from here, I get this as 26 minus 21. So 5 alpha equals 5. And from here, I get alpha is 1. Once I have alpha's value as 1, if I further find out beta and gamma also in terms of that, I can just get the value of gamma here. So gamma is minus 7 alpha, which is minus 7 into 1, which is minus 7. Beta, it's 6 alpha, which is 6 into 1, which is 6. So I have all the values with me. Alpha 1, beta 6, gamma minus 7. Now once I have that with me, let's figure out the final answer. It's asking me to find the value of this 6 alpha plus 9 beta plus 7 gamma. So 6 alpha plus 9 beta plus 7 gamma. That further gives me 6 into 1, 9 into 6, 7 into minus 7. So 6 plus 54 minus 14. So that gives you 60 minus 49, which is basically 11. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So once I had those two matrices, I solved them. I got three equations. And once I solved the three equations, I got beta and gamma also in terms of alpha. Then I knew that this point is satisfying this plane. So it has the points x, y, z as alpha, beta, gamma. And once I put beta and gamma also in terms of alpha, I got the value of alpha from which I got the values of gamma and beta. Once I got all the three of them, I put that in my expression and I got the answer for the question as 11, which matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.